Right guys, Mike, you enjoying the boat? Still indoors, not outdoors. Right, so obviously with all the lockdown, um, things have had to change a bit. Can't do the camping and all the stuff that I enjoy. So I've started doing a lot of home growing. So I'll show you what I've been doing and a few tips if you want to get your kids involved and make it easy. Some of them can grow on the windowsill inside. I mean, we started most of our stuff on the windowsill inside. Uh, and then hopefully I'm going to show you everything that I've done and then get some hints and tips and bits and pieces off you. Um, you'll notice a few clothes changes through the videos because I've recorded this a couple of times and I've lost footage and messed footage up and so it's a bit of a, a mishmash of videos just pushed together but if you stick with it I'd appreciate that. I mean look. Let's see. Right, so first off, celery. It's a bit manky around the edges, but that won't matter once it's planted. It's literally the bottom off the celery that we eat anyway, buy from the store, from Asda. Chopped off, dunked in that, and then it's was regrowing. So that is probably ready now to transport over. So we're going to stick that into a bigger tub and let that do its thing. Great for the kids because it's on the windowsill. You don't need nothing to do it. You've just got to buy a celery which costs 50p I think and stick it in a glass and change the water every couple of days and you'll st soon start to see some some growth. Good one for the kids. They do it on the bedroom windowsill. If they're getting sun on the bedroom windowsill they can do it on the bedroom. Uh, second is this is my little mini herb garden what's going on so at this end we've got here and coriander and basil's the smaller one in the middle not not as up yet as then chaves and then a of parsley at the end so just stuck into an old pot I didn't have a drip tray for it so cheapest chips I made a drip tray out of made a, like a watering tray just out of duct tape, holds the water in great. Right then, down here guys, I have leeks, these are all thinning out a bit, I'm just going to let them get a bit bigger and I can pick the best out of them, thin them out, and then over the back, carrots. So right, I'll take you over to the shed. Or I will, I'll cut into the video that's already recorded from the shed and from the greenhouse. And thank you very much for sticking with it. As promised earlier, it's a different day though. We're heading in the, it's like the greenhouse, come probably some cheap thing, about 30 quid off eBay. Cheap as you get. But it's quite solid. It's, Anchored down to the fence, anchored to the floor, so happy days. Right, so some of the things I've been growing is I took one of these out of the, the two bottoms. These are courgettes. These are coming quite nicely. I can see some buds here which look like these are going to start flowering, which means they'll be heading towards producing, I think. I still need to, I still need to thin these sides out because I've got some, and um, well, I've just noticed there's a couple here, which have still got the, the shoot leaves on, so I'm just pinching the, the baby leaves. So I'll just go down to the chickens, the chickens will eat them. Uh, so yeah, courgettes, currently I've eight of these in, I'm going to be taking probably the weakest four out, I'll keep four, this one's getting handed on already that's why I've potted it over onto one of these so I'll get rid of some more I know my neighbour at the back he likes to grow some stuff he's got a greenhouse and that so I'll pass him a couple of courgettes over um, onto 
peppers. We've got plenty of pepper plants here. I found these the hardest thing of everything to, to germinate. Uh, I don't know what, but I've got plenty now. I think there's three, six, nine, there's like 10, 10, 11 plants in here. Starting to, luckily, get the second leaves come through, which I think means they might, they're probably going to survive and push, push on. So, happy days, hopefully they'll come through. Um, lettuce, this is one that we've already been picking at and eating. It's just a leafy green. We had some of these for the, you know, burgers the other day. These have been doing all right. Uh, in here. These are cucumber, uh, yeah, cucumbers, these ones. The six of these. We're starting to get second leaves on them all now. Which say, I think once you start pushing the second leaves out, I think it means you generally plants are going into sort of like that second stage. Uh, I'll show you down here. I had three pumpkin plants, which I think I went put them out a bit early because there was three that started to get some second leaves, and I've sort of rushed them out, and they haven't took. I think I've lost. I've lost two, and I've just lost my third one. I think so. They'll just become chicken food. Um, these are now going to go into the pumpkin bed. These are peas. These are all pretty much ready to plant out now. I believe they're starting to get the, the gripper shoots that grab onto things. I think I think that's how it works. So these are going to go up the trellis on the, the fence. I'll probably give them another few days. Get them a bit more hardy. I'll move them outside on the shed roof for summer. Get them hardied up a bit. Yeah, these are the. These are more cucumbers. The kids planted these ones out. This one's Finlay's. They did these themselves. They planted, potted them over. Uh, down here. In the, these was only went in yesterday or the day before. There's some more radishes. Second patch of radishes. To, so that once they're done, these will be ready. And there's two new, two different types of lettuce in there. But they've only been in, like I say, a day, two days max, so they haven't germinated yet. Uh, I've got three pretty strong tomato plants coming through now. Sorry, four. Four. Uh, I'll give a couple of these away already, so I'm just keeping the four for myself. In here. Which I don't think these have gone yet. These are some, no, nothing as yet. These are some pepper seeds, what I saved out of some peppers. I don't know if the peppers that you're getting from the supermarket now, I like what they call, I think they call them F1s, which means I don't think they germinate, but I thought it was worth a try. So I made my own little, that's mushrooms. No, that's mushrooms. Well, they might have both been mushrooms. Hello, lady, what are you doing? So, made a little thing, anyway. Over here, and this one. These are probably ready to thin out and stick out. These are going to go in this planter down here. I just need to make a little bit of a net tunnel for it. So, these are spring onions. So, I'm going to plant these out thick, because we're probably going to, from what I've read, if you eat them a bit earlier, not let them go, so they're not too bad when they're bunched up. I'll thin them out a little bit, but... Spring onions. So only, really, one of my three squash plants is really pushing up now. So I'm going to put this over into one of the bigger tubs. I really try and look after this, because... I don't want the squash to end up the same way they, the, uh, the pumpkin did. So I'm really trying to look after this one. These two are still going. They just don't look a strong plant like that one. But they are getting second leaves. We're getting second leaves. It's just, I never need to clip it, but I want to wait till this second leaf is, wait, so it's 
got two established second leaves and I can crop these off so they're not taking so much away from the, the new growth. I think that's how it works. Uh, and then this one, I've got chilli chili peppers, these are all coming into second leaf now. Except this one, I might lose this one, I don't know, we'll see. This one looks like it's drying out a little bit, but we'll see. So I've at least got four healthy chilli peppers. Uh, Chad, I really don't know much about this. I planted it like sort of like quite a quite a lot because I think it's sort of I think you eat the leaves sort of like you do a, a cabbage. So I planted quite I've got quite a bit of this. And that can go in the edge of tubs. It doesn't really have to be. So I can sort of put that in with down the side of the carrots, down the side of like the tub where the peas are going. I can put it down the side of the radishes. I think it's quite an hardy thing that you can just sort of whack it out and it comes on. And that's sort of, sort of it. Oh, we've got some. Oh, there we go. Look. There's another little, some peppers, and as you can just see, I've got one here. Uh, if I just move that. One here. Oh, another one here. So I'm starting to get some more pepper plants germinating. So, I'll pop you out front, show you the spuds. I'm not 100% on the spuds because I've like cheated some spuds that I bought myself. I don't know if they'll tech. So, it might be that season where it's just a learning curve. But yeah, so that's what I've been up to. I'll whip you on the spuds. Happy days. Let us know if you've got any advice, any, anything really, because... It's just a bit of a guessing game for me at the minute. Like I say, I've got the carrots and leeks. The, the carrots have started to get their second, like the, what looks like carrots off, sort of, leaf on. And I'm not sure on the, on the leeks. We'll just have to see on them. Hey, up there. How you doing, missus? So, right, I'll take you out front for the spuds, and I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so these are like 50 litre pots. So I put three, and I've got three or four seed potatoes in each one. Like I said, I cheated these myself, so I don't know if, if they're gonna work, but we'll just have to see. I'll show you how I cheated them, and then you might be able to give me a bit of advice. Right, so this is how I cheated my turkeys. I like to say they're all shop bought, so. I don't know what whether they'll take or not. But I've got some that's got some really good red. But we'll see. Two chances. Right. I'll spin you around and we'll say bye. Our money tree. Right, if you managed to work your way through all this video, thank you very much. It's gonna be something I'm probably gonna try and do a bit more on. Like I say. Put in for an allotment. If I get one of them, there'll be lots of them videos. But I'll bring you back with some, some grow, growing, um, like updates. See what, see what you think. And like I say, any advice will be massively appreciated. Thank you very much. I'll catch you on the next one.